you all asked for more ASMR style Bob Ross Excel content, so here I am bringing it to you again. <laughs> so today we're going to go over this cool little set of charts behind me. These charts are all powered by this little tiny set of data here. This is inspired by a project I saw recently where somebody took a tiny little data set and turned it into 100 visualizations. So here's the thing. A lot of people just don't realize how much potential there is to customize their charts in Excel. Excel is actually better than a lot of BI tools when it comes down to really fine chart customization. There's just so much you can do in here. And if you combine that with just the sheer quantity of different chart types they give you to work with, you can create all sorts of stuff, no matter how small your data is. People aren't going to tell you that. People are going to tell you big data is the only way. But the reality is, is that most data analysis is small data, little data sets being used in Excel. And the vast majority of analysis happening around the world is done that way. That doesn't mean it's necessarily good, but it's just how it's done at this point. And we got to work with it. And what I mean by that is when you take a tiny data set like this, it's easy to think, well, there's really no insight here. But when you start applying visualizations, you can start to see things in that data that you wouldn't otherwise have seen when you were just looking at a tiny little table all by itself. When we look at this double bar chart, we see the proportionality between all three of these different locations, right? We also see the proportionality and the change from one year to the next within each of those. Really useful insights, hard to interpret when you're just looking at numbers like these but very easy to understand when you see it in a visual form like this. What about rankings and rate of growth? We can use a slope chart and instantly it's obvious to us that Denmark has surpassed Norway within this time period. Again, something that we don't instantly get when looking at a plain old set of data in a table. Just applying some basic visual design principles in our layout and doing some basic calculations can give us something that captures that data in a much more engaging, much more effective way communicates with our audience much more clearly than just giving them a table in Excel. But this is what I'm talking about when I talk about visual design and visualization being the biggest missed opportunity in Excel. Y'all hear me going on and on about it all the time. I've got a bunch of videos about how to do all of this stuff. You can go check out the tutorials playlist on my channel. I've got free templates to help people learn this stuff on the newsletter if you want to get the free templates. They're there waiting for you. The learning curve for this stuff, it's not as steep as you might think. Really, I think almost anyone can learn this stuff. We're using a lot of principles you probably already know. Principles you might have learned in PowerPoint, uh, applied in Excel, some basic Excel principles that are just applied in slightly different ways than you might be used to. None of this is crazy. There's no custom coding. There's no VBA, right? We're not using plugins. We're just using standard Excel. And I think it's about time that people realize that this is what Excel is capable of, and it's no harder to do this in Excel than any other tool. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. I'll be back with more soon.